First question is from Nove 20 Fitness. What's the best way to work out your triceps? Tricep training. You know, I read an article when I was a kid that was really instrumental in my workouts, and it said that the triceps make up two-thirds of the arm mass of the arm, right? Because the biceps get all the glory. Yeah. But you want, like, impressive-looking arms. You got to develop uh, your triceps. That's where our, the real meat is. That's true, 100%. Yeah. All right, so tricep training. You know, one thing you, that I learned a long time ago that I've always applied, and it definitely works, and I worked it with my clients, and biomechanically speaking, it makes perfect sense, is what you really want to pay attention to with tricep exercises uh, has nothing to do with the grip that you're using on the handles, but rather the position of the elbow. So as the elbow moves higher and higher, the more stress you theoretically will place on what's called the long head of the tricep, which is the, the meaty part on the inside because it stretches when you're overhead. So overhead tricep extension is more of that. You'll get more of the lateral head as they're in front of you. But nonetheless, the elbow position is really what's important. So whatever exercises you pick, make sure you have some where your elbows are next to your body, some where they're in front of your body, and then some where they're, you know, your elbows oh, overhead. Yeah. So I'm going I'm to give something that I think is going to be controversial a little bit because I do know there's quite a few people in the space that disagree with this. Um, but in my experience, uh, training myself and many clients, uh, compound lifts. I agree. So like yeah. the, the incline, uh, you know, close grip bench press and dips are two of the best movements that I saw that blew up my arms and that when I applied to clients, totally. I saw the greatest return from. Now, there's a, like I said, people in the space will argue that either isolation exercises are much better and you get more tricep activation in those type of movements. Um, I don't know if it's attributed to the load because mm -hmm. – Obviously, on an I got to a place where I could substantial. Yeah, I load. could incline close grip bench press two twenty five plus, which I ain't doing nothing with two twenty five for triceps anywhere mm -hmm. else. I can't skull crush that. Mm -hmm. I can't overhead extend that. I can't tricep kick back that cable push down that. But I can I can definitely bench that, and I can f fight my elbows in. So it's a lot of the triceps carrying the load, and that blew my triceps up. That and then weighted dips. Getting to and again, what, what other tricep exercise? So to me, it, it must have something to do with the load, and then the, maybe the CNS adaptation that I'm getting from a, doing a compound lift like that. So those two things. I agree. It's the same reason why you'll get better quad development from a squat than you will from a leg extension. It's the same same stuff is happening. I 100% agree. Close grip bench presses. I went through a period of time. Now my triceps always. It was one of the body parts on me that developed uh, easily one of the only body parts on me that developed easily. Nonetheless, I still focused on them because I wanted to have, you know, good looking arms. And it was close grip bench presses that did it more than anything. And there was a period of time where I progressed it like you would progress a bench press. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, can I get stronger? Can I? Now here's the thing that I learned. The close grip that you use on the bench press can't be too close. I remember going really close like this, but that does a flares, number on the wrist. And it also flares yeah, the elbows yeah, up straight on. Really, it's it's like you're more like maybe shoulder width or right inside shoulder width grip for close grip um, is where you'll probably get the, the safety with the muscle activation and you can progressively overload that. And I got to a point where I was using a great amount of weight with the close grip and, and then the dips. I agree with you too. Yeah, the dips is the other the one. The dips for me were, were everything and mainly – when I started to uh, do things like the suspension trainer or the uh, Olympic rings, because of that added bit of instability, really, you know, challenged uh, my my triceps on a level that I hadn't challenged them before. Uh, it, it just really sparked all new growth. So I think sometimes it's just like unlocking, you know, that one that one piece that's been missing in your training. I also noticed a big difference with talking about dips with you know body weight with added weight uh, compared to uh, machine dips because I, I did machine dips forever. Yeah. Um, I didn't do body weight dips till way later. It was something that Isn't was, that funny? It's yeah. like it should be the same but it's not at all. No, yeah. it wasn't. It's like lat pull yeah. down versus pull ups. And totally I, different. And I got really strong at machine. In fact, I used to have to stack another plate on the thing have someone hold the, your shoulders yeah down. dude i had someone stand i really did, did tricep dips like that forever and got really good at machine tricep dips and and done all of them the hoist ones and all the different machines and from different angles and got really strong 
uh, when I started doing body weight dips, and I had to start with just my body weight. I would do just do body weight, like 15 reps, got to a place where I could start to add 5, 25, mm -hmm. you know, 50 pounds, and then got to a place where I was loading that for like five reps, mm -hmm. five reps of weighted body weight dips. Yeah. I saw major leaps in my triceps. Now, here's a superset if you ever want to do a pre exhaust superset for triceps, and it's pretty gnarly, is you do uh, a rope press down immediately to either dips or a close grip bench press. Now, uh, this is not for the faint of heart and use very lightweight when you do the compound lift because the triceps will be ex already pre-exhausted. And if you put weight on, that's wrong. You ain't getting the weight back up. But man, that is a killer. You go isolation to compound and it's a, it's more of a, it's kind of a bodybuilding trick, right? To get uh, like a really crazy pump. Oh my gosh, is that, I did that. I would do that with dips a lot. I'd go, either skull crusher or press down, and then I'd go straight to body weight dips. And it is gnarly. I would only get like five, six reps out on the dip and really focus on the squeeze at the top. But yeah, I agree. Those compound lifts, like nothing will develop the triceps just, again, through experience like mm -hmm. those exercises. And there's a lot of controversy around that. There is. There's a lot of, of our smart friends in the space that are not, they are not pro that at all. You know what it is, is the more muscle you have and the more experienced you are, the more you can get away with uh, doing isolation movements and developing those muscles. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, now after I have developed my- You've already my, built a really huge base to work with. Yeah, and, and again, like the studies show, you have to do way less volume and intensity to keep muscle. So I think what happens is people get really advanced, they build a lot of muscle, and they did it through compound lifts, and they did it through all the- And then they, once they're at that level, then they start throwing in this other stuff, and they think, oh, this is what works. Yeah. But I don't, I think that's only works that way because you've built that- that solid base to begin with. Yeah. So most people watching this are not in that situation. I also think that they they right. they um, overvalue the whole you know muscle activation research totally. that's out there. Uh -huh. There's a lot of research out there to that support the point that you made, which is you know oh if you do leg extensions, the quads light up more than in a barbell back squat. But there's not too many people that would make the case that you could build bigger quads from. Uh, a leg extension than you can barbell mm -hmm. back squats, but yet that's what the you know muscle activation studies will show. Yep. So I do think there's people that lean heavily on that research to try and support why you know tricep nothing activates the tricep like tricep push down like a cross body row single arm row yes, press down yes and they'll try and make the claim that that and which by the way a movement like that which I think that is one of the ones that is that shows that touts all the muscle activation you can't do very much weight at all on that it's very very minimal weight and weight isn't everything and the only way to yeah there's value over. to it but you, you're yeah. going to compare that to a, a close grip bench press or yeah, a dip? 225 no pounds way. like no there's going to beef those arms up a lot more.